Okay, so again, thank you everyone who is here with us today. Um, it's exciting to know that there are 55 people and even though 30 of them are classmates, um, we're really appreciative to have Vove and Mattis um, as, as well as the other guests that are with us today. Um, so we're gonna uh, jump right in. Uh, so who is Mattis? So when Vove and Professor Izzo, when you brought Mattis to us, you were very excited. You said Mattis is this rock and roll group. They're new, they're innovative, they're a new take on the modern rock genre. And when you came to us, you brought us goals. So what our group did is we kind of fleshed out those goals a little bit. So we want to start there. We want to talk about the goals that you have and how we're going to work with those. So the first one is building the brand. We want to establish and build a brand that is solid within the market and within your fan base. Um, as, as a band and as a business, because you are a business, you don't want to confuse your consumer. You don't want to have any kind of um, discrepancies with who you are. So building a solid brand is going to be very crucial. We also want to grow awareness of who Mattis is. So again, getting you out into the market even further than you already have and growing on that. Um, another opportunity and goal that we um, took away from some of the information you provided was influencer partnerships. So one thing there that we really wanted to stress is that we want to establish relationships within the industry. That's a big part of this industry, as you all know. Um, it's who you know, it's what you know, but it's also who you know. So being able to work with influencers and establish those relationships will help, again, build your brand, grow your awareness, and also build your career. Um, a big goal that you had brought to us that we definitely agree with is to grow your revenue stream. Um, building a source of revenue for the influx of cash necessary to pursue other aspects. Um, Mattis has a lot of goals, um, Germany being one of them. We, you, know, you talked about um, going overseas and touring and those kind of things. Those things don't happen without money. So one of the goals now has to be grow that revenue first so that you can explore those other options. And lastly, collaboration opportunities. Um, not just with other bands within your market or within other areas or genres of the music industry, but building collaborations with other areas of the whole market. So who you are presenting yourselves to, who your fan base is, um, and you will need to be very open to collaborations considering that you are building your brand and your awareness and you are looking for that revenue stream. So when we really took a deep dive into who Mattis is, um, we came up with some, some strong points. So one of those being that you have your merch line established. You have a visual and tangible representation of who you are, which is great. Most people who are, who are young in their career um, don't necessarily have that yet. So it's really great that Mattis has that aspect going for them. Another area is your streaming. You are very popular on Spotify and other streaming platforms. And again, as a young band, that's very hard to do. So we definitely think that's a great strong point for you. And lastly, you guys are personable. You know, you, you're down to earth and you're chill and you you're the kind of people that people want to hang out with you're the kind of band that you know you'll be performing on stage and people are there to see you but they also want to be there hanging out with their friends and you definitely have that going for you as a strong point as well so because we talked about strengths we also have to talk about some areas that mattis doesn't necessarily have going for them at the moment one of those being again revenue being it's money um, because unfortunately money does kind of get you the places you need to go but that's an area that you need to specifically focus on as something that you don't have that you need to have to push your career even further the other kind of weakness that we analyzed was that there is a lack in live performance. Um, not many performances, especially if you're going to be going on tour in the future, if you're going to be collaborating with brands who are going to want you to um, represent them in a certain way, you have to just get any experience you can for a live performance, whether it's you just perform at a live concert at the park or any of those. So those are areas that we thought were great and areas that we definitely know you can improve upon. So let's move on to how we would go about um, changing some of the things for Mattis. Um, another part of our analyzation was that your social medias are sorely lacking. And as a rock band, 
you know, it's, it's cool to not really be on the social media trend, but it's 2020. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Um, so areas that we definitely think would help um, with social medias is advertising, is reaching out um, for campuses, especially your target is a young group. So campus outreach, flyers, emails, blogs, blogs are still very popular and a lot of them are growing and expanding. So um, that area for your socials will be very helpful. The other area we want to talk about as far as revenue is ticket prices, keeping it at a lower kind of average because again, you do have a younger demographic. So 10 to $15, I'd pay $15 to go see a really cool rock band. Um, and then with your merch as well, keeping it on the lower side um, so that your fans can come to these shows or they can go to your website and say, oh, this t-shirt's only 10 bucks, I can spare 10 bucks. That's really what's gonna work for you. And then we also analyzed um, not only Mattis, but other rock bands in the market and what attributes stand out to us um, that are kind of different than some of the other rock bands within the market right now is that you guys definitely give off that 90s grunge vibe. Um, you're very indie, you're independent, you've, you've definitely made your way into the indie market and you're very eccentric. Um, you know, you're creative, you give a different aspect to not only yourselves as individuals and as the band, but to your music as well. So a couple of things we wanna show you, um, we kind of reinvented your logo a little bit that kind of shows Mattis as who they are. You know, we've got the, the headphones there and the little waveform, it kind of says, we're Mattis, we're here to rock and roll. Um, and then we also established a business card um, and if everyone can take a moment, pull out your phone, go ahead and scan that scan code for me. It's gonna um, take you to something really cool that I, I love doing and I thought we'd implement here. So once you scan it, it'll click on the little link on the top. Give it a moment and what you should see is that that business card will pop up on a web page. Um, this is great for when you're going to be out on tour, when you're going to be on shows. Um, instead of having physical business cards that people lose, you have a digital format to use. Um, and then if you, at the top of the business card on that web page, if you click it, it directly links to your website. You could also have it linked directly to your social media. So again, something that's going to benefit you, um, considering that you need that social interaction. Okay, Courtney's going to go ahead and take over. So now we're gonna talk about the opportunities that our group has kind of put together. And this is what we kind of sorted through to figure out what route we wanted to take for you guys. So after analyzing the positioning and goals, we've established these opportunities. Um, so sync placements and adult cartoons, um, the resurgence in vinyl, and video games, much like what group one said. Um, so with adult cartoons on the rise, it can be really beneficial to get sync placements for Mattis in cartoons such as Big Mouth, which is huge on Netflix. Unfortunately, one of my favorite shows. Please watch it. It's great. Um, and then Vinyl Resurgence, you guys have a very nostalgic vibe to you, especially with um, your merch, like the cassette shirt. Um, so this wouldn't be a stretch for you guys. This would be a good market to tap into. And then... Um, the indie video games and indie video games are really surging to the forefront of gaming and streaming. So it would be really beneficial for Mattis to get sync placements in these games and tap into that ever growing market. And based off of these opportunities, we've chosen the one that we think would be best to pursue. And that is the indie video games. Um, so really go after those sync placements and indie video games like this one, which I'm about to show you a video of, can be really artsy and creative and out of the box, which is much like Mattis themselves. Um, the colors of this game are bold and bright and eye-catching, which is partly why we chose it because our title slide picture was the super bright picture of you guys. That's like more cartoon-esque. Uh, so now I'm gonna switch the screen and show you guys the video, maybe. Come here, 
just so I could give you a hug. I'm stuck. All right, give me a second. Cool, my presentation is completely frozen. You can restart right. and tell us when it's good. <laughs> okay, don't, I'm working don't, on it. Don't be anxious. All right, there we go. Let's try this again. Like I was saying, um, so that was super bright and bold and eye-catching, which is a lot like Mattis. Um, and given that Mattis is an independent band, we think these games would be appropriate and fitting to their brand. And on top of that, it fits their demographic nicely, which is what I'm about to discuss in the following slides. So when we broke down the demographics, we got a lot of our stats from Scarsborough data. And it's clear based on these stats that the listeners are typically between the ages of 25 to 34 and heavily male. And the top US market is LA, which is great for events since Mattis is LA based. Um, and these demographics actually line up nicely with those of the gaming world, heavily male and usually young adults. And as far as activities go, these listeners typically like to go to ticketed events such as concerts and professional sporting events. And here we have more information for the current audience. Um, it's mainly found in the US and Mexico and they live primarily on Facebook and Instagram when they are online. And this will be important to remember once we start talking about the events in the timeline that involve social media. So let's talk about our personas. Um, what exactly does your target market look like? It's these people. We'll start with lovely Tom. Um, Tom is a 23-year-old avid gamer. He goes to events for gaming and hangs out with his friends while doing so. He loves doing the in-person gaming events. Um, he's right in the target we're going for as far as age and activities. Now we have Julie. She's a 27-year-old from Boston, which is another major market location for Mattis. And she enjoys going to live shows and streaming. TV shows such as Family Guy, Archer, and Bob's Burgers. And then lastly, we have Vanessa. She's 34 years old and a former athlete. Um, and Vanessa's right on the outer cusp of the target market that we're going for. She's 34 years old and she lives in the second largest market location for Mattis, which is New York, and loves going to live shows and loves going to plays with her kids. Great. So now Holly is gonna, oh, sorry, Holly's gonna take it for the timeline. Um, just to, before we get right into the timeline, um, talking about the personas still, I'm fortunate enough to live with someone um, who is 23 and female who loves video games. Um, and after speaking with her, she strongly recommended um, indie video games. Um, for her, it's all about the kind of music that she hears in the games that her and her friends then go to Spotify and put those soundtracks on a playlist and they, they can enjoy together. Um, so I just wanted to include that as well as someone, a real live person, not these wonderful people that are on the screen now, a real live person actually was able to help us out um, with these persona demographics as well. Great, so let's get started on what your first year plan would look like. We're going to start with a Twitch collaboration. Um, Twitch is where influencers, video game influencers um, are online and they are, you know, sitting in front of a camera, they're playing the video games um, and they usually have music playing in the background. So that's going to be very important for gaining exposure and uh, promoting the brand. 
Next, we move on to an acoustic cyber city performance event. So right here in Northridge, there is an eSports cyber city. Um, it's an area where it's, it's a location where friends and groups of people can go and sit and play video games and hang out with their friends. Um, so having an acoustic session there will not only give you um, the exposure that you require as Mattis, you're also gaining the experience, the performance experience like we talked about in the goals earlier in the uh, presentation. And then now we're moving on to later in the year, indie video game collab announcements. This is where you're going to really utilize the building social media that you're going to be doing throughout the whole year. Um, you're gonna be able to use that and really promote the fact that you guys are going to be collaborating with a, an indie video game. Okay, so to talk about Twitch, millions of people are geared towards Twitch. There are so many video game influencers out there, um, some of them being Ninja, Shroud, some of the biggest people. Um, I believe Ninja was just on uh, one of the network TV shows, The Masked Singer. Again, someone that you could collaborate with that's going to only promote your career. Um, Twitch is a great opportunity for exposure. Influencers are also looking for collaborations as well. So to be able to have that partnership is going to be very crucial within your first year. Okay, so now we're moving on to year two. And we start with the video game release party. So like Holly mentioned, at the end of year one, we have the announcement for the sync placement. But this is the actual release of said game. And at this event, Mattis will do an acoustic performance as well as sell merch, really keep driving up that income. Um, and then in the middle of the year, we have a headphone drop with Logitech. Companies are really trying now um, with the surge in video games to create products like headphones that translate to both the gaming world and the music world. Um, so that would be a really fun event and like collaboration to do. And then um, after that, we have a partnership planned with them and at the end of the year we'll have the performance sponsored by logitech and like i said in that slide we want to do that collab with logitech headphones so we made a little video announcement for it So moving on to year three, the first kind of big thing of the year that we would like to implement for Mattis is Rhythm and Pixels podcast. Um, this is a weekly podcast um, that not only attracts the gaming community, but also attracts the community um, of musicians as well. And then we'd move on to uh, music video release. Um, and this is where the creativity, the extra creativity that Mattis has is um, implementing Mattis as video game characters. Um, so that music video would be really fun. Um, and again, it'll be boosting every aspect of your socials. It'll help develop your brand and you're still maintaining that collaboration within the indie music video world or music uh, or video game world. And then finally wrapping up year three is an event such as Metarama Gaming and Music Convention. Um, it's a huge convention that they have um, and there are a lot more of these presenting themselves where gamers go and they are sitting there, they're playing games, and then these big bands, um, and even you know smaller bands as well, um, or artists, they come in and they do live performances as these video games are going on. It's, it's a huge convention. Um, there are more of them popping up all across the country. So again, another avenue to explore. And then talking a little bit about Rhythm and Pixels. Um, so it's two guys who sit down once a week. They talk about, um, one guy is a super gamer. He's all into video games. The other guy is a composer and they frequently bring on guests. And because podcasts are so popular now, it would be a great avenue to explore. And again, Metarama being um, one of the big aspects of what we need to be doing for Mattis. Um, you can see there that Ninja has paired with Marshmallow and Logic and Snoop Dogg, all of these people who have brought the world of music and the, mu the world of video games together together um, for those big events. 
So here we wanted to show what a rough idea of income could look like for Mattis. So clearly it shows that the income would really start coming in around year two with the partnerships and performances that are planned. And then around the end of year three is where Mattis will likely hit their original 60,000 a year goal um, with all the performances, the Logitech revenue and the merch sales coming in. So here's our appendix and everything. We'll be able to go back and see the video and access all of that. Um, so as long as Mattis is tenacious and putting their all into the band and creating these opportunities for themselves, then they'll see the success and we'll see their audience grow and their income increase.